this summer i made a trip all the way across the world to guam to visit my boyfriend it was long awaited and took a bit of preparation so this is how it's been going i've been here for exactly four weeks so far so i've been adjusted the jet lag is gone i flew here on june 7th it came down to it like i felt like i was so prepared but then it when it came down to packing procrastinated just a little bit then i also wanted to see my friends before i left because i normally see them over the summer because um, they were in school and so i was like let me see everyone like the <laughs> the week before i leave and so packing on it got pushed back so i ended up packing um the day before but it turned into the night before which meant i didn't go to sleep so i had a 7 a.m flight from dfw to san francisco to catch and i was packing all night i did not go to sleep so i leave tomorrow my flight's in the morning and it's It's 11.53 and my flight is tomorrow morning at 7.45, so I don't think I'm going to sleep. In fact, I think we have to be up at like 3.30, so I only have about three more hours to finish packing. But I was just getting everything together and I remembered I had forms to fill out. So I went in, I was about to check into my flight, and I was just rereading the bag policies. So when I booked my flight... The airline says you get one personal item, carry-on, and one check bag included all for free or no extra fee. But I just read the bag policies and it says if you just got like the basic ticket. Oh, hopefully I'm not covering the mic. If you just got the basic ticket, you only get a personal item, no carry-on, and a check bag. And if you bring a carry-on, they're going to check it and then charge you more for having to check it afterwards for trying to carry it on. So now I'm like instead of trying to bring a small bag to carry on, I'll just bring another full size bag and check it and pay that fee because I'm gonna have to pay it anyways and then have more space. So that actually might work out. I was already planning, we were all planning that I was gonna overpack or I was gonna be overweight, so I was gonna have to pay extra anyways. So this might work out in my favor. I'll just bring a second bag. I am notoriously an overpacker. Like I don't really know how to expect what I'm going to be wanting you know and since it was going to be two months it wasn't like oh I can pack five outfits and it'd be good like I kind of had to pack my entire wardrobe because I needed things for all the time I needed lots of chill co clothes pajamas you know like I just needed everything so it was like my bags are going to be heavy okay that that was stressing me out just a little bit right at the end because i was like oh no like i have so many bags so the flight was at 7 a.m so of course we had to be there super early so yeah, i made the flight and everything everything went pretty smooth this entire trip actually went very smooth like you know how sometimes something goes like completely wrong and it's like oh my gosh like why did this have to happen type thing um this whole like thing has gone like super smooth which um, is like a very good sign to me. So the my itinerary was from DFW to San Francisco, which was like a three three hour flight, I think. And then from San Francisco, I had a connecting flight to Honolulu, Hawaii. That flight was six, five hours. And then from Hawaii, to guam the first flight was fine and went well i did pick my seats ahead of time i just needed the aisle seat or the window seat so i had the window seats for my first two flights everything went well i could see out of the window there was nice views i loved seeing you know flying over the united states and seeing every all the different terrains and stuff but when it came down to that last flight <laughs> from hawaii to guam which was seven hours uh, I gave my seat up to this mom who wanted to sit next to her kids and I was like, it's fine. It's fine I'll just I'll be sitting next to her. So it'll be fine Like we I was just switching from the aisle to the middle I was trading seats with her then she traded her aisle seat that I gave up with the man who's gonna be sitting on the other side of her kids and so I ended up not getting my seat back and I was sitting next to like two big men and It was so terrible. Oh my gosh. It was so terrible their arm, like the arm, the legs. Oh my God. 
just thinking about it, it was it was torture for me. The entire time I was flying, I was flying like during the same times. So, cause the time kept changing. So I was basically flying like all morning, all morning. Like the time kept changing until I got to Guam and then I was like transported a day ahead. It was crazy. Like that was also messing me up because I was like, I wanted to go to sleep, but then it kept being like 10 a.m. I flew over night, I flew a total of 19 hours. So that was a very interesting to experience. And, um, but I made it, I made it safely. So I've been here in Guam for four weeks and everything has been so nice. The view is nice. Like I haven't been, I've been out of the country before. Definitely not by myself. Like I never traveled by myself like that, but I've never been this far away, um, like across the world. Guam is a US territory, but it is very, very far. Like go find it on the map. You First of all, it's so small that you can't even like scroll across the map and just see it. You have to zoom in, but I'm like, literally under asia japan's over there australia is like down there it's like across the world across the pacific ocean so i do feel very far away from home but in guam like the guam life is pretty cool it's definitely slower which is like a nice experience um, but definitely different from what i'm used to it's very beautiful i've been to the beach a couple of times i've been cooking a lot more okay okay Yay, I'm gonna try making some flatbread falafel from this mix that I've never, I've only had fresh falafel, never out of a, a mix like this, but excited to try this and then some hummus from scratch. Okay, so normally I, I cook for myself because I am vegan and when I, I live with my mom, so she'll cook like a regular meal and then I usually have to cook my meal um, but normally I get a lot of food from my dad um, he'll cook stuff and then like I'll have like a lot of food and so I was definitely had that little like cushion of like oh I can get something with my dad I ate out I guess a lot more than I realized that I did at home or just like ate a lot of snacks too pricing of things is a little bit different um, there's like they're definitely more expensive some items are more expensive because they have to be like imported you know a longer way yeah I've been cooking for myself a lot more like I made a falafel I wanted to make it from scratch because my dad has a recipe but and so he recommended like getting the falafel mix which I didn't know existed and I was able to find it here so I made falafel and flatbread and hummus I do really like to cook and I do know how to cook very well if I do say so myself and I just haven't had to like utilize my skills that much, which is funny because when I was younger, I think that's when like my interest in cooking was at its highest and that's when I learned. I love to bake. Like at one point I wanted to be, I wanted to have like a cupcake shop. I wanted to be a pastry chef. The other week we did drive around like the entire island of Guam. It's not super large. There's only like 106. 70,000 people the population is only 107,000 people coming from the United States it feels it probably feels small but I'm sure if you like lived in other countries it probably wouldn't feel like super small but like coming from Texas and you can drive 30 minutes and still be in in what's technically Dallas it's pretty crazy because here you drive 30 minutes and you're across the entire perimeter of it so we drove across the entire like south of the island and saw all the land there's like mountainous areas you can hike here there's lots of water there's like little islands next to the island and it's really nice there's also coffee shops i haven't tried all of them yet there's one called island girl and i love to get matcha from there i haven't gotten it in like a week last weekend we went to this like underwater observatory where people can like scuba dive but then you can walk down flights of stairs and then see like fish underwater and this kind of like submarine style thing that's what it, it reminded me of like the inside of it looks like how a submarine would look i've never been in a submarine but you can see like all the fish swimming around and then you can see people swimming under there that's what's been going on in my life i've been in guam um yes yeah, so i'll be here for a couple more weeks it's definitely been an experience not only like living with technically like living with my boyfriend but um, also just for myself, like 
being on my own away from my parents and my family uh, is something that I never really did. I didn't go or I did go to college. I did completely move to college into a dorm and left within like three weeks. Um, I have a, a track record in my like youth of just not being able to be away from my parents. So I'm really proud of myself in that aspect. Like it's been a definitely like a good experience for my personal growth as well as for like our relationship. So yeah, it is my birthday month. I'm very excited about that. I'll be 23 this year and um, I'm excited for like just living up the rest of this month so I can get all in. I'll try to keep y'all updated as much as you guys want to be updated. Like I didn't, I was a little bit hesitant in like sharing all of this and like posting this video. I don't even know how it's gonna turn out because I just like have a whole bunch of random footage and clips that I'm piecing together because I just wanted to share it and document it and like, I just wanted to have it as like a memory. But yeah, I didn't really know if I wanted to like vlog or I just didn't know. I definitely feel like I'm going through like a little bit of a transition period and so I just don't know some things but it's completely fine not to. Maybe they're just not meant for me to know. Yeah, that's all that I have to share today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to y'all in the next one. Bye.